Hi, I'm Brian Parks from Belimo Technical Support. Today I'm here with Jeff Upright, and we're going to talk about how to set the switches on a PR actuator. Jeff? Thank you, Brian. For this demonstration, I'm going to be using the PRB UP-3-T model actuator. The wiring for this exercise is going to be the same for the PR series, the PKR series, and the PM series. The PR series, we have two auxiliary switches. We have one switch fixed at 10 degrees rotation, and we have a second switch which is adjustable from zero to 90 degree rotation. The wiring for the switches is going to be in the wiring compartment at the base of the actuator, and on the left side, you're going to have your terminals. Now we have this one set up for power. Here's your power blocks, your power terminals, and then here we have your first switch and your second switch. We have S1, S2 is your normally co closed contact, S3 is your normally open contact, S5 is your normally closed contact, and S6 is going to be your normally open contact. We currently have this one set for the adjustable switch to be set at 30 degrees rotation. When we apply power to the actuator and give it a control signal voltage, it's going to move. We have the, this block at S1 for switch 1 and S2 for switch 2. At 10 degrees rotation, this light should change to the blue. You'll notice that. Now for the 30 degree rotation, this one is going to change to blue as well. So, I'm going to review now how to adjust the your second auxiliary switch. So let's say we want to have the switch set at 70 degrees. Using the pointer and the scale, each block represents 10 degrees rotation. So we got 10, 20, 30, 40, 50, 60, 70. So when we're done with this, pointer hits the 70 degree mark, it should trip the switch. For this example, we've removed power from the actuator. You're going to remove the handle from the actuator that's supplied. You're going to open up your manual override cap, as well as your auxiliary switch cap. You're going to insert the handle into the manual override. You want to turn the actuator so the pointer is going to be close to the 70 degree mark. Like that. You can see that 70 degrees. What you want to do then, you want to drop that in. Make sure it drops down. And what you want to do is rotate the handle so that the pointer is in line with the solid line. Right now, we just set the switch. Now for this example, what I'm going to do is I'm going to turn the actuator back a little bit. We're going to reapply power to it. And then we're going to give it a control signal. Now when that pointer assembly hits the 70 degree mark, the blue light should come on. And as you see, it did. After you're satisfied with your switch, you want to reinstall your override cap and your switch cap. Snug them up tightly to ensure the NEMA 4 rating. You want to put your cap back onto your wiring compartment. And it's very important when wiring these, the wires cannot go over the plastic barrier here. So it's recommended that you use a separate conduit when wiring this. If you have any questions, please call Believo Technical Support at 1-800-543-9038. You can also go to www.belimo.us and you can find some more information about this product there. Thanks for watching the Belimo YouTube channel and be sure to like this video.